ta 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 Hello guys, it's LaFinci, All Things History. The Middle Ages were a very influential part of human history, starting from the collapse of the Roman of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD to the collapse of the Eastern Roman Empire or Byzantine Empire in 1453. There are a lot of things that made up the Middle Ages, but one of the most important was feudalism. What was feudalism and how did it work? So, what was feudalism and why was it so important to this era? Feudalism was a system that was common in many medieval societies. So basically, the landowner or lord would give away parcels of land called fiefs and maybe military and legal protection in, in exchange for payment and loyalty from the person who received the fief or the vassal. Usually, the vassal would gather, give out fiefs to his own vassals, and so on. <laughs> So this system of governance coalesced a new social structure in medieval Europe, like this here one. We will start, actually, above the pyramid with the Pope. He was in charge of the Catholic Church, and it was powerful. Peasants and kings alike followed their every command. As a peasant, you are actually required to give 10% of your crops to the church, called a tithe. Next, at the top of the pyramid, is the king. He's the guy in charge of whatever kingdom we're talking about, and keeps it from crumbling apart like a badly cooked cake. Or James Charles's channel. Going a wrong down, are the nobility. These are your local dukes, counts, and princes. Sometimes they would be in charge of certain regions of said kingdom, and the rest would be owned directly by the crown. They would gain lands from the king, and in exchange, they would give the king loyalty, money, and knights for wars. Speaking of knights, that's who are down the next rung. Knights and vassals. You probably know what a knight is. They're basically specialized soldiers, usually of cavalry, that are trained at a young, young age, and they follow a code, the Code of Chivalry. They would give the nobles protection and their military service, and in exchange for fiefs or land. And on the final rungs of the peasantry, they were basically everyone else in society, but some had a specific set of skills like farmers, merchants, and craftsmen, and they were valued higher on the the social class system of uh, that. The peasant would usually gain land and protection from the knights, and in exchange they had to work their land and pay rent via crops. However, in other feudal societies like China or Japan, merchants were actually the lowest class as they made money only for themselves. Well, it all started in the Frankish Empire in the 8th century AD. 
Frankish kings, notably Charlemagne, gave out fiefs to loyal nobles in exchange for services. It became widespread in Europe during the 11th century due to the Normans conquering places like England and Sicily. With the collapse of the Frankish Empire led to two powerful feudal kingdoms. The multi-ethnic complex known as the Holy Roman Empire, the border or master of the world centers in Germany, and the not so bordegory Kingdom of France. Then the Crusades came. Some local lords fought as they were promised a free seat in heaven if they fought for God. And a lot of those nobles died. With no one to replace them, this led to the decline of feudalism. Other factors like the Black Death, peasant revolts, and people moving into cities led to nobles not having enough people working their land, and the feudal system having to be modified. Over time, during the Renaissance, feudalism began to fade away, and it came to a stop in the Enlightenment with events like the French Revolution in 1789, in which the French Republic abolished feudalism, and the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806. However, some non-European civilizations took a little longer to phase this system out. Japan abolished its feudal system in 1868 during the Meiji Restoration. Well, guess that's all I have to say. So, please like and subscribe and share this video with all of your friends. And also, click the notification bell so you don't miss a video I upload. This is LaFinci, All Things History, signing out. See ya! Radium and polonium were discovered in 1898 by Curies after finding it in the radioactive ore pitch blend.